Greetings, mortals, and welcome back to... Welcome back! We've never played this game! Welcome to Inculinati! It's a game where you play game. I don't know. We're gonna do a journey. Uh... Uh, okay, what should I name it? Oh, this game is literally all mouse driven. I don't need a keyboard. Um, oh, I know what to do. Nope. Next, that's my name, Mortality. What is this? A mighty hare versus a bishop cat. Cat or hare? Attacks up to. Well, the fact that it says butt on it, I want it. Healing. Blessing. Triple target. Affects three targets. In when the beast allied beast can be targeted but not tiny increases the uh we're gonna do healing what is this heavy tiny enemies beast can't push your tiny oh barks of war oh i like barks of war the donkey bard Mighty Dog. Let's do Mighty Dog. What's this? Draw a gate. Affects a single chosen target. I don't give it a gate. Creates a gate that protects your forces from enemies. Or do we want... SWAT. Single target. Uh, You know what? Being able... To control... There's... What is this? Handy business grants six drops of living ink if a hand action kills a beast. Well, yeah, we'll do that. Character screen. Okay. Can I modify? Uh, okay. Let's do this. Let's get into this. No idea what this game is. Well, actually, no. I played through the tutorial. I know that much. Today you will pass your final exam, become an Inculinati master, and then set off to your Inculinati journey. You still have to face a wild beast encounter before you can take your exam, though. Wild beast encounter! L just select the wild beast encounter icon. Tiny Inculinati versus wild beast encounters are marked with a sword and a quill icon. The enemy tiny Inculinati is not present in this type of battle. Once you enter location, you cannot leave it, so choose carefully. Okay. Well... I can't pick anything other than this. So I can change my army whenever. Okay. Well, that's good. Let's do this. Let's get into this. I don't even know this. It, you Okay, I was just making sure you guys can see the mouse. Because, okay. So I'm thinking... Here, we're gonna push myself over here so I can get some more ink. Uh, we're gonna draw this guy right there. I'm acting like I know how to play this game because all I did was the tutorial. Archer. Well, Archer right there. And then the last thing we will do is sleep. So, if you've ever played something like, like the game Magic the Gathering, you will see that this is relatively similar in the fact that it's a turn-based strategy game where you summon monsters and you have to fight each other and you have your abilities. Okay, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to walk forward. We're going to do this. Attack! Which wall? Ow. Area of attack. Uh, I'm gonna go over here and fight this guy. Now, let's just push him. He's dead. 
that was fun. Okay. Uh, get out of my face. Um. We're gonna. The only thing I can do is push at this point. Push. Shove it. Then we're gonna have me. Spear. Spearman. We're gonna poke him. Boop. And then we're gonna push me away because I don't really want to be near that. Never mind. I just uh, that would lose ink. Because I sort of want that ink. Each chapter is a turn. Just so you know. You killed my fiend. You will die for that. Prayer gives the target one level of halo and makes them temporarily unpushable. I'm gonna push this. There we go. When you push something, it ends up on the opposite side. Aha! Pew pew. We win! Aha! We're... God mode? Win a battle in journey mode without taking any damage or something else? Take all. What do you want? Your health regenerates a little after every battle. And by a uh, how many points, you may ask? Like it is said at the beginning, that depends on your difficulty. What if I lose all my health? If your health drops to zero, the battle is lost. When you lose a battle, you will be restored to full health and lose one quill. If you lose a battle and don't have any quills left, your journey is over. So I have five lives, effectively. Inculinati just ti get tired of drawing be uh, beasts. Every time they draw a beast, their boredom level goes up. The higher the boredom, the more ink it costs to draw a beast. Now repeat. Uh, higher boredom, the more ink it costs. Alright, to decrease boredom, draw different beasts in your next battle. Fight a beast versus beast battle or visit the chapel. Got it? Yes. This one. Okay, let's do this. I'm... This game is fun. I like it. Oh, interesting. Fighting beast battles. This is your first battle without a tiny, isn't it? In battles like this, it still matters which beasts you choose after all. They'll be the ones fighting for you, so make sure to bring your best, strongest beast. Of course, if the enemy defeats you, you lose your quills. Good news, though. Boredom doesn't count here. In fact, all your beasts will have their boredom levels decreased after the battle. It isn't that great? It is important to collect living ink even when your army doesn't have a tiny. When an army without a tiny collects 12 or more drops of living ink, all their beasts will be healed 5 health, and one will be granted a level 3, 3 levels of halo at the end of the chapter. The goal is to get rid of all your opponent's beasts. Okay, uh, I do want to get some ink. Uh, right. Praying will cause the beast to execute a more powerful attack on its next move. Praying beasts are unpushable until their next turn, meaning they can't be thrown into the abyss. How dare you pew pew my person? Unpushable. Do not hurt me. How dare you? Damage is illegal. Spear. Impalement. Movement. We're gonna move right here. Then we're gonna spear right here. Which one? Owie. Let's get an area of effect attack. 
Who would be in that attack? The... Let's, let's do just a single arrow attack on the archer. Oh, only two. This is very interesting. At least I have more beasts. Do not pew pew. That is illegal! Battlefield level. Sometimes your beast will need to go up or down the level in the battlefield. Non-flying beasts can use ladders to go up or down the level. Flying beasts don't need to. Interesting. You can sometimes use beasts to... Okay, yeah, I know. I got that much. Removed unpushable. I want you to sleep. Ow! Die! Wow. Owie! You ched. We're gonna go right here and then... Archer. Archer this guy. Oh yeah, right on the six pew! Chapter... What chapter is this? Ooh, all of my people regain health. Gonna get a halo. Ink shower. Do not hurt my archer! Ow! Piercing? Switching active units. In a given turn, you can move one unit, either a beast or your tiny. You decide which one to move. You can switch between active non-napping units with a dedicated button. Okay. Ah, interesting. Get whacked. You killed my dude. We're gonna nap here. Nappy, nappy. What brightness down there? Come my brightness is down. There we go. You can steer your eyes, some call it a camera, but those haven't been invented yet in medieval times. Around in order to examine it, uh, well, I'm good. I'm just gonna attack you. Why? Vengeance! Board, board. Bork, bork. Kill an enemy that killed a friendly beast. Okay. That was like a... Achievement. Boop, 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 End. Next. Take it. Ah, yes, what do you have, master? Prestige allows you to... Choose dialogue options unavailable to puny peasants. Being famous does have its advantages. You will now visit a non-combat location. Here you won't face a battle, but a decision that will affect your resources. Ho hover your cursor over a location of your details. Here you will permanently increase your starting health. You will permanently increase your starting li living ink. I prefer... Wait, I want to go back. Oh, well, never mind. Welcome, would you like some of my invigorating gold drink?
so I can't go down there. Master, you have reached the end of the tiny map. At the end of each map, an Inclunati master awaits. Defeating them in a battle will allow you to continue your journey. But first, you will have to defeat me to pass the final exam at the Academy. What should I focus on? Most importantly, you need a large diversity of beasts, always bringing the maximum of five beasts with you. You'll soon be getting some new beasts, so plan your strategy carefully and watch out for boredom. Let's fight, bro. Spend gold to buy various items. Show me what you got. We got a bow-wielding fox. Let's get the... Sir Snail, a slow yet deadly unit, can only attack adjacent fields, devours enemies, and... <gasps> I want him. Yeah, let's go. Well. Let's go. Oh, is it time? Because I felt a bit weak a moment ago. You know, the food was spoiled or something. It would be a bit pointless to pass the exam like that with such a suffering master. Don't do this. I don't care. Okay, this is important. There will be explosions from overheating, which is what masters love the most. Overeating. Okay, so I have five. Change army. Let me see. Do I have any? I just... I have... Okay. Thank you, sir. Thank you, sir. My... 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 My loadout is completely and utterly... Completed. Hello. Oh, interesting. Inkulinati scribers often get bored drawing the same beast over and over again, but each time you draw a beast during a battle, its drawing cost will be higher during the next battle. The amount of living ink needed to draw a beast increases by its boredom level. If you don't draw a specific beast during the battle, its boredom level goes down. Make sure you use different types of beasts and don't take those that will have a high level of boredom into battle and everything will be fine. Okay. Let's get you right there. Well, that was sort of stupid. Sleep. Okay, um... Trying to get the archer out there. And swordsman. Just so we have him. Cannot do much, so I'm going to sleep. Why? Master's army, you should know that I can force my beast to explode. I do so love the smell of explosions in the mo Um... I don't like that ability. Do not at all like that ability. I'm gonna push you. Uh, archer at him. Kill him. Oh, that was only two. No, 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 no. We do not want that. What is he drawing? Another one? How dare you? So rude. Attack, attack. He's dead. Whack. Oh, he explodes when they die. Interesting. I'm gonna make a snail because I feel like it. Sir Conrad. The snail. Whack the master. Whack. Push. 
Okay, well, I'm going to whack the master. Ouchie, you're quite annoying. Random events? I don't care about random events. Oh, I missed. Absolutely missed. Well, that's quite annoying. Push to the right. Death. Aha! Go to sleep. You're good now. Alright. Oh, Wait, did that- oh, did that end my turn? Or something? Push. Dead. And then, I'll have you go up here. You can still walk up. Noise. Wacky whack. Seven damage! How? What in the world? Okay. Chapter four. Ow. Apocalypse type? I don't actually care. Go up here. You can keep going. Yes. Pew pew him. Right on the money. Bam. You killed him. You're so mean. You're gonna have to do that. Go to sleep. Do the pokey pokey right there. Mm. Boom. And then the pushy pushy. The boom. And the business. You made a ton of the ink. Swordsman, give me a new one. And then we go to sleep. Boom! What is good like that? Apocalyptic fire. Okay, well, I'm gonna... Okay, well, he's gonna start off by murdering my dude. But you wanna know what's awesome? Is I'm about to just kill him. I know, I know. I'm just gonna... Oh. Archer. Right there. I'm gonna kill him either way. Yeah, just go to sleep. You can't do much more. Uh, pew pew. Okay, we got this. Yes! He's dead! That is why I'm going to end this video, my dudes. Thank you guys so much for watching. This was Inculinati. Make sure to check me out live on Twitch and the description, and I make sure to check out my r random games in the description, and I hope to see you in the next video. Farewell, mortals.